So the lady came to me afterwards and she says, man, I wanted to laugh so hard. I didn't know if you could laugh in church. You need to find a new church. <laughs> or come see me. Maybe your pastor ain't funny. So I, uh, to break the ice on this Christmas deal and leading up to Christmas, uh, I wrote a poem. Um, I've been watching the news a lot lately. Don't do that. We're into some weird, weird times, ain't we not? So I decided to write a Christmas poem called The Politically Correct Christmas. You ain't going to hear this at another church, I'll tell you that. The wife and I had gone to town to see what we could see. We thought it right to start our shopping since tomorrow was Christmas Eve. First stop was the feed store, and we're done with gift cards for all. Then my wife grabs my arm and says, can we go to the mall? My blood pressure started to rise. I was fighting the urge to stampede. There's freaks and oddities everywhere. And that whole bunch is unpedigreed. Well, I cinch my hat and I set my jaw. I storm that door like Wyatt Earp. I ain't worried about saving my hide. I just can't stand seeing men in skirts. Well, I thought of a surefire way out of shopping. I'd take the youngins to see Santa Claus. But when I got there, there ain't no wonderland to be found. Just a grumpy elf going through menopause. She said Christmas wouldn't be the same again since the politicians ruled it was fun. Said I need to feel bad and apologize because I stand for the anthem and I own a gun. She says all heck broke loose up north once Frosty won the election. Now nobody knows what side to be on or how to properly show their affection. <laughs> well, Santa called for a stiffer work week, and the elves, they went on strike and started a riot. The reindeer joined in burning the town, said they ain't flying unless Santa goes on a diet. Well, Santa's tired of the midnight shift, and he don't think the fat jokes are funny. He'd rather be called festively plump, and now identifies as the Easter Bunny. Rudolph's leader of the reindeer games, and it's hugs and sprinkles for all. Everybody gets a trophy that participates, and they don't even get in trouble when they deflate the ball. Well, Mrs. Claus, she's now a blogger. She's part of the TikTok elite. Now we'll have to get our goodies on Pinterest, but she's too busy answering her tweets. Well, they say that man can't judge who's been good and who's been bad, who's been fair and who's been cheated. But don't worry about that naughty list. I heard those emails have been deleted. <laughs> it's then I realized the seriousness of this situation. Christmas without presents, what was it worth? Without all the trinkets and candy and commotion, I was now left with Jesus, who was deity at birth. So I guess it's time we get back to the reason of why we celebrate and how it all first began. Because the only gift unwrapped that first Christmas was the one that God gave and given us his son. So let's take a minute and thank God and love God and love each other for the best gift given to you and your kin. Let's love God and love others because Jesus is going to make Christmas great again.